Hello folks, I'm Appfielder and welcome to this tutorial about how to load up a world edit schematic into your Minecraft world. Now for those of you that don't know, I've run Appfielder.com for over two years and it's one of the best places to go for Minecraft light matics. But in the last month or so, I've now launched a premium store for Minecraft content creators who want to be able to sell their wonderful creations. So if you're wondering where do I get world edit schematics from, then head to store.abfielder.com. Link will be in the top right hand corner and the description below. Before we get into the meat of this tutorial, I'm going to cover off some of the frequently asked questions I get in my tutorials like this. Firstly, if you want to call me a numpty for not covering off how to install Fabric and World Edit, go watch my video on how to install Fabric and Fabric mods. Run the Fabric instance of the game with World Edit installed at least once, and then you should have all the folders shown in this video. This guide is for people using the standard Minecraft launcher. If you're running a different launcher, then the folder paths may vary. Go to Google, find the documentation for whatever launcher you're using and follow that. And lastly, if you see something like 50,000 views on this video in a year's time and lots of positive comments, but you still can't figure out how to do this, then I'm probably not the idiot that you are about to tell me I am in the comments. Take a look in a mirror. Let's assume then that you have made a purchase from the app Fielder store and you've got this zip file. The reason I give you a zip file is because there are multiple file types in the download so you can use whatever you purchase. There's normally like Matic, Schematics and even Java and Bedrock Worlds depending on the purchase. Right click on this zip file and this will work in Windows 10 and Windows 11. Click Extract All. I always leave this unticked because I don't want another window opening. Click Extract. And there we go, it's created the folder. So we'll click on it. And as you can see, we've got a dot lightmatic, a dot scam, and this is a Java world file. This is what we're interested for world edit. It's dot scam. You might also have a dot schematic, both should work. So what we want to do is right click on this. And on Windows 11, we want to click the second icon in, which is copy. And there we go, that has copied the file to our clipboard. Now we need to go and paste it into the world edit schematics folder. So a little shortcut, again, we'll work on Windows 10 and Windows 11, do percent app data, percent, and hit enter. Takes you to your roaming data folder here. And as you can see at the top, we've got the dot Minecraft folder here. This is the one we're really interested in. These ones I've actually created separate instances. You won't have them, so don't worry about them. Just this one. And again, this probably only appears if you're using the standard launcher, as I said earlier on in the video. And then once we're in the Minecraft folder, we want to go to config. Now, again, if you don't have the config and then the world edit folder that we're going to click on next, it's probably because you haven't run the game with fabric and world edit installed. Go back, try again. Double click on world edit and then double click into schematics. Mine is empty. I've got nothing in there and I'm guessing yours is too. Right click and you want to click paste. And that is it. Now all we've got to do is go into Minecraft itself and paste it into our world. So here we are back in our world and I'm going to go into first person view. I'm just going to go up a little bit. Now the reason for this is when someone takes a schematic, the place that it loads in depends on where you were standing when you copied it, if that makes sense. We can all, always undo this and I'll show you how to do that. But the next thing we're going to do is hit T to open our chat, do forward slash forward slash and then we're going to do scam and schematic will work as well, but we can just do scam and then list. And then we're going to hit enter. That is going to list all our available schematics. Now, nice and easy to load this up once you've done that list. And this is why I used list because you can just click here and that's going to load it into your kind of world edit clipboard. And it even tells you there to do forward slash forward slash paste to paste it in the world. But I am going to show you a little trick. Some of these builds are really large and pasting them in can basically cause your game to crash. So a way to cut down on the number of blocks that it's going to paste in is to do hyphen A. And what that means is it will paste in all the blocks, but it's going to ignore air blocks. And typically in one of these files, about half of those blocks that you're pasting in are air. So this makes a massive difference. Once you've done that, click enter. And as you can see, it takes a second tells you how many blocks are affected and boom, there we go, it appeared right behind us. And there we go. This is the uh, Ender Factions World Spawn. This is absolutely amazing. 
If for whatever reason you have pasted this into the wrong place, you can do chat again, T for chat, forward slash, forward slash, undo, and voila, it's gone. And then you can just do like, if we go onto the floor now, because we know that's not gonna paste in on the floor. So there we go, T, and then just do paste. And again, do that hyphen A, and boom, there we go. That is it. That is how simple it is to paste a schematic into your world. A big thank you to my patrons who help keep my Java SMP AppCraft completely free to play on. And if you like this build, then why not head to the store.appfielder.com and check it out along with all the other wonderful items we have. Creators get 70% of all sales. If you're interested in selling items on the store, then check out appfielder.com. I'll put a link in the description below for more details. For now though, folks, that's all I have time for. I'm Appfielder. Goodbye.